Now this was the second image uh, I discovered uh, that really shocked, was rather shocking. There's another image I've got uh, to show you that's a little shocking too. The exact moment the fatal bullet now, struck the president in the head. In this area, right Some believe that of one of these shadows may be an assassin I standing know, behind the fence. Seem like much right now, but Lee Bowers, a railroad. One more time. Bullet struck the Keep president in the right head. The... Some believe that one of these this shadows of the may be an assassin standing behind. What is it? Well. So what is this image again? The exact moment the well, fatal bullet struck the president in the right, head. Right here. Some believe that one of these shadows may be an assassin standing well, behind right the here. fence. The Lee Bowers, a railroad employee who was working... Fatal bullet struck yeah, the president in the head. Some right, believe right that one of these shadows may be an assassin standing behind the fence. So now it didn't look like much. Some believe that one of these shadows may be an assassin standing behind the fence. As you can see, I was uh, taking extreme close-ups of that many years ago one of these shots this blob right here that doesn't appear to be not like much just uh well anyhow I was taking a lot closer look here Let's see if you see what I saw. Let me guys get in to see a face here, a face here. What really caught my eye was this upside down stripe here. I couldn't figure out what that could have been. So I was looking a little closer. So that's a little closer up of that image right here. As you can see, this is on the, uh, this is caught, picked up on television as they zoomed in on the Mormon photo. This was in a book, double page enlargement. So you get the gist of it. I was looking there, and let's take a knife. Here's some of the images I've extracted from that. How about a colorized? version one face there one face here how about a little larger view and by the way well I gotta do it this way I got all kinds of images here Yes, there it is. Here's an independent close-up somebody did. I don't even know who it was, but this was a digitally enhanced uh, version of the Mormon photo. Uh, they never even noticed this. I made a uh, enlargement, and I put it up here in the front. They were looking back here. Back along here. And that may not 
I know it's hard to see. I didn't see it for several minutes. And once I started putting the pieces together, once the brain starts putting the pieces together, like I say, all I was looking at was this upside down V. Let's see, there should be something. Yes, that upside down V. And then I noticed there were a few others. There was this, what appears to be a circle here, just above that. And then I started putting the pieces together. You start seeing the faces. Once you start seeing the faces, understand this is the left arm. channel that's the close up again I'm losing my where is the color there's the colorized So there's definitely something very unusual there, <laughs> to say the least. And when you put it put it all together, uh, I can find that one again. Well, anyways, here's an, here's an even more extreme close-up. Let me see if I move that in a little. Now, this is very curious that at that distance, <laughs> I mean, it's picking up this, and it does look like some writing much similar to this that's and that's a very long distance but anyways I can't get this to work so anyhow it's very curious that uh, I can find that one It's very curious that you'd have two images like that found in this one photograph. And not only that, <laughs> but an image like that also. Uh, now, Anyone who thinks of the light, lights and shadows, uh, there's always a possibility of lights and shadows, but those are the damnedest lights and shadows I've ever seen. And as far as I'm concerned, this makes more sense than anything. <laughs>